American Environmental Review is a national platform where nature and technology meet, where protecting and preserving our precious resources take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the environmental innovators. This editorial series, featured on public television, takes an inside look at the outdoors, explores how the decisions we make today impact each of our tomorrows. Standard Alcohol Company of America was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to the environment in which we live. Hello, I'm Morley Safer. With more and more automobiles being used each year, reducing toxic emissions is essential. As we're about to learn, some innovations are helping to reduce the impact on air quality. William Shakespeare wrote much about the beauty of nature, but he also wrote, fair is foul and foul is fair, hover through the fog and filthy air. Was Shakespeare a prophet as well as a poet? The Earth's atmosphere is becoming increasingly more delicate. The first mile of our air contains the most engine emissions, particulates from coal-fired power plants, wood smoke from burning rainforests, and invisible radioactive particles. We see it as smog, which is now a global phenomenon. Smog is no more than an oily haze in an uh, atmosphere of water vapor. I see it as vinegar that's floating on my salad dressing at night. I can shake it up, it'll mix for a minute, and it will go back to phase separation. Is there a solution for our worldwide pollution problem? Well, it was supposed to be MTBE, a fuel additive that lowers tailpipe emissions. Problem is, it's not biodegradable, and as a result, it contaminates our drinking water supply, emitting an odor like turpentine. That has forced the governor of California to ban the use of MTBE in that state by the end of 2002. 41 other states have followed suit. Now, researchers are finding the solution might actually be the reemergence of a substance that's been around for a long time. Water-soluble, biodegradable, fuel alcohol. That mixture of alcohols is a proprietary mixture, and uh, it can be adjusted to, uh, to different ratios depending on uh, the operating conditions. We're now experimenting with those operating conditions to, uh, to get the perfect fuel. The latest mixed alcohol fuel is called Enviroline. It's produced by the Standard Alcohol Company of America, headquartered in Durango, Colorado. The fuel is a 128 octane blend stock that is clean burning at a higher temperature and is designed to lower emissions of gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and aviation gas. Additionally, it could scrub the emissions from industrial boilers and power plant smokestacks. Testing of this green fuel is currently underway at an internationally known independent research center located here in the U.S. Another advantage of the new green fuel is that it can be mixed with diesel and jet fuel as well as gasoline. This uh, allows it to be used to reduce environmentally harmful emissions from almost any internal combustion engine. Green Enviroline has been designed very high octane to uh, to run as a blend stock in anybody's automobile without any engine modification whatsoever. Water solubility and biodegradability are the chemical keys to this green fuel. Because it's an oxycarbon, it mixes completely with water. In fact, at 5% dilution in water, it actually becomes food for microbes and naturally occurring bacteria. Unlike oil, which floats and spreads over the surface of water, such as with oil spills or smoggy air, this alcohol fuel blends with petroleum and coal, which could radically reduce emissions. Recent tests have shown that it uh, can produce equivalent or better results in air quality. Furthermore, it can be a complete substitute for, uh, for gasoline with improved engine performance. Green Enviroline is also the basis of Standard Alcohol Company of America's oxygenated diesel fuel known as Power Stroke Diesel, a blended mixed alcohol product that can be used in place of standard petroleum diesel. Another variant of Enviroline called Jet 25 can do the same for jet aviation fuel. All of these products are made from Standard Alcohol's Enviroline Mixed Alcohol, 
which provides more power than basic methanol or grain ethanol-based fuels. The synergy of the higher mixed alcohols comprising Enviroline is essentially greater strength, more energy density than either methanol or ethanol individually. Enviroline is a gas to liquids product, contains a blend of C1 through C8 alcohols including methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, hexanol, heptanol, and some 8-carbon octanol. Enviroline features an octane rating of 128 or higher, and it is truly green fuel for a blue sky. The work which Standard Alcohol Company has done in the past decades has brought forth our first product to market, Enviroline. The company's continued research and development in the future will set new standards for cost-effective, clean energy technologies. The hope is this high-powered green alcohol fuel will penetrate beyond the gasoline market served by MTBE, becoming a bridge to link carbon fuels to clean combusting liquid fuels and electrical energy, something that might have even satisfied Shakespeare. John F. Kennedy once said, the supreme reality of our time is the vulnerability of our planet. It is a timeless statement. World population, consumption, and technology push forward, often more quickly than natural resources can support, or with consequences more costly than we can afford. The need for a unified effort to nurture, renew, and protect the planet has never been more compelling. Therefore, once again, American Environmental Review extends a special thanks to the companies that have risen to meet today's environmental challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.